Hi, it's Michael Sheehan, Technology Evangelist for GoGrid, and today I'm with Mario Olivares, VP of Products at GoGrid. How's it going? Good. Great. Um, and what I wanted to do is just spend a little bit of time talking about some of the new releases that we announced earlier in the month. There was a newsletter that went out, but some people may not have seen some of the items that we talked about there, and I thought maybe... Well, in that case, if you go to, and, and check out your blog. That's right. <laughs> And that's at blog.gogurt.com. So um, there are a couple of new things that I think that we should probably highlight in this interview. Uh, and we'll start, I think, with the new GoGrid CDN. And for those people who don't know what a CDN is, it's a content delivery network. So why don't you go into a little bit of detail about that? So basically, over the last uh, 18 months, two years, We've had a lot, you know, just lots of requests for, you know, delivery services and we've actually lost sales because we didn't provide a one-stop shop. So we partnered with Edgecast, which is a leading content delivery network to basically provide utility-based billing uh, content delivery services for Gover customers. So Gover customers can uh, request the CDN service be provisioned and they can pay you know, for every gig that they use with uh, no commitments. Great, so that's kind of different than most <clears throat> CDNs out there because I know with some of the others you have to decide on the zone that you want, you have to sign up for like a monthly commitment or even a yearly commitment. Right, so what's really cool about this deal with Edgecast is we're able to uh, basically offer really good pricing and the customer has doesn't have to commit and that's not usually, and usually with uh, content delivery network providers, they, if, you know, their end users want a low price, they have to commit to large, uh, you know, to commitment. they have to make commitment to get that, that low price. Uh, that's not the case with GoGrid. Uh, and GoGrid customers, um, you know, basically can stream or deliver content to Asia, Australia, the US, Europe, it's just all one price. And it's just one plan that you have to deal with. Exactly. That's great. Um, and so we launched this a couple of weeks ago. How's the uptake been? Really, really great. Uh, the sales team has closed a lot of deals. There's been a lot of demand from the existing customer base, and it's, it's looking good. I'm excited. Great. So as a GoGrid customer or a prospective customer, why would I want to do a CDN in the first place? Well, you know, most of most custom like, so most of our customers have are hosting some type of web application. And those customers, in general, I would say the vast majority of them are getting content delivery from somewhere. It might be, you know, I mean, there's a whole bunch of them out there. And now they can come to us to get a one-stop shop, so they're not having to use one interface. Everything is being done out of GoGrid, so it just makes the I think it's easier on the customer. Great, one bill, you know, for all their hosting needs. Great. So talking about billing, another change that we did um, with this release was we revised our RAM hour and bandwidth pricing. And a lot of people freak out when they hear, oh, pricing changes. But obviously, it wasn't as bad as people thought because we actually pushed down some of those uh, prices. Do you want to go Yeah, so the, when we say we change the pricing, it's lower pricing. Um, and essentially, there was really two motivate two factors that you know were driving this. One was a lot of our high end, the, the customers with lots of usage wanted to see a, a high end plan, and so we you know rolled that out. And we wanted to drop the unit, the the server RAM hour cost and the transfer plan, and uh, so we basically redid all of the plans. So now you know. Uh, server RAM hours start at you know, they're as low as you know five cents and they go up to you know twelve cents on the prepaid plan and then we lowered all of our transfer pricing as well so Great. it's very very competitive and we even lowered our our overage pricing so say you are starting to outgrow your plan a little bit it's so still very competitive that's correct so on the server RAM hour plan uh, prepaid plans essentially any overage beyond your allotment is just one penny more. That's great. And also, um, I noticed that the bandwidth, the overall outbound bandwidth cost dropped pretty dramatically, and we don't charge for inbound bandwidth, so that's that's a pretty big yep, savings there. Definitely. And even on the pay-as-you-go plan, it's dropped to about $0.29, cents, which it was $0.50 cents before, so it's a pretty good drop. That's great. And also, any current GoGurt users, they don't have to sign up for a plan, 
but it may uh, a new plan it may be advantageous that they potentially talk with their account rep to see if there are some some ways for them to potentially save money right so uh, all the existing customers you know they didn't have to opt, you know they weren't affected by these new plans if they want to move to the new plans all they need to do is go into the portal and opt into the new plan and you know submit a case and that'll be processed right and we've automated that process somewhat now you, users can do that within the GoGrid portal it's very easy to exactly. do. Exactly. They just, uh, customer logs with the portal, goes into the billing tab, uh, and now there's uh, automation when you're upgrading plans. Great. Great. So there are a couple more uh, items that were included in the newsletter and that we released. you want to go into any of those briefly? Sure. So we rolled out some new Windows 2003, 2008, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit-based operating systems. We've okay. gotten a lot of feedback from customers that they just wanted sort of the stripped-down base operating system without all of the packages and software pre-installed. So uh, we did that. We end of life a lot of templates. Templates are you know essentially these images that go over, that we've created with you know all the pre-installed software and what you know what we had found. In, found was that it was just really difficult to manage and keep all these images you know, up to date. So uh, a lot of those have been end of life. We what else did, uh, we also rolled out four gig support for Windows 2003 32-bit window, uh, Windows images, Windows Server 2003. And we automated the uh, um, a Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux entitlements. So now all those users before would have to submit a, ca a case to have that activated, and you know we would do that manually on each server, which wasn't scalable. All that's been automated now. Great. So um, obviously, it looks like there are fewer images, but that's kind of paving the way for some announcements we're going to have coming up about partner GSIs and that sort of thing. And we'll go into that in in a in a later video. So right. there's some exciting things coming. Yeah, so there. without giving away too much, um, basically we've uh, rolled up what we call the GoGrid Exchange, and I'm going to let the product manager, Polnix, you know, go into that, but uh, you're exactly right. Essentially, we wanted to kind of uh, really just offer base operating systems and then uh, a lot of these partner images that we should be rolling out from what I've heard this week. Great, yeah, so putting the expertise in the hands of the partners and we focus on the, the raw infrastructure. Exactly. Great, well thank you very much Mario. You're welcome, thank you. All right.